Hey, welcome back. Today we're in Luke chapter 19, verses 45 to 48. Let's read it. Then he went into the temple and began to drive out those who bought and sold in it, saying to them, It is written, My house is a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And he was teaching daily in the temple, but the chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people sought to destroy him and were unable to do anything, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. So here's an interesting picture, isn't it? Jesus comes into the temple. You know, some people think, hey, they say, it's, it's good. What we need to do is just, just uh, live a nice life. Don't make a big noise. Just let your life be your testimony that you're a Christian. Well, Jesus, when he comes into the temple, he doesn't just come in there and be nice. You know, G Jesus comes in and he actually says, hey, you are not supposed to be here. You should, you should not be making this temple a place of business. And Jesus throws them out. See, and so this is very interesting. He quotes the scripture. He says, you've made this place a place of thieves, the holiest place, a place of thieves. And Jesus is not okay with that. You and I should not be okay with that when the religion just becomes an opportunity to transfer wealth, maybe into the preacher's pocket sometime. He's teaching, he's teaching, the people are loving it, the people are, are devouring this teaching because Jesus is teaching like nobody's taught them before. And the leaders would like to stop it, but they cannot. They'd like to cancel Jesus. They cannot. They cannot because the people are too intense. And so a, very, a picture there for us that's, that's important. Look, if a very small percentage of people today saw weird things happening in the world and said, no way, I'm not participating in that. Done. Just a couple of percent. That would perhaps put an end to a lot of this nonsense. But no, most people are cowards. Uh, but for God's grace, I am a coward. Most people are, we're going to go along with the crowd. We're going to go along with the powers that be, even when they uh, work to wipe us out. So let's not be that way. Let's be true to our Lord Jesus. Let's pray to him. Dear Father in heaven, we're praying to you in Jesus' name. We're thankful for the mercies you give us through Jesus. Bless us, watch over us, be our helper, be our, our guide, Lord, today, and help us to be proclaiming, living and proclaiming the truths that you've given us to proclaim. We're not supposed to hide it under a bushel, but to publish it abroad, put it in the light so the people can think for themselves and choose what is right. Bless us as we do this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, may the blessings of God's kingdom be in your life today.